color pressed Time to get yourself all dressed Time to get your shiny dance shoes on Cause everybody's jumping at jacks All the kids are coming down Just to dig the swinging sound You can hear the band from miles away Cause everybody's jumping at jacks Here's a little well-known secret Sure as there's a sky above Nothing could be any sweeter Than dancing with the one you love When life is like a sour note Here's a happy antidote Come to where the party never ends Cause everybody's jumping at jacks Love, welcome to Steamers Jazz at Campus Jacks. Isn't this cozy? I know, God, it's cool. Well, um, happy to have you here tonight. It's going to be a very special uh, night. It's the first time we're doing Latin Jazz, uh, the return of Latin Jazz at Steamers, but this time at Campus Jacks. And all these cats are from the old days and uh, really excited about bringing them on and, and hearing some incredible music and, and building our Latin jazz program here at uh, Campus Jacks. But I want to let you know about some things upcoming. First of all, a little bit of an announcement, okay? And this isn't so applicable for this Latin jazz band, but typically we do ask that like when, like when there's a bass solo or something or something quiet, can you guys not yap away? No, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Though there is some hustling and bustling going on, we do want to try to keep it more of a concert style, so we do ask that you do that. really doesn't matter. We do want you to get crazy for this Latin jazz band. And another thing also, you guys all know about the restrictions going on, and we're very, very strict about making sure that we stay within that thing to be socially distant and all that, so we ask that when you are navigating f uh, back and forth to the restroom, that you wear your mask, et cetera, and also, we know you're all excited, everybody wants to come up and hug Francisco, but um, we do ask that uh, when you, if you want to approach the band and all that after, you kind of do it in an orderly fashion to keep your distance. We're just trying to do this right and keep it going, because we got a great thing going here. Look at this, huh? Yeah. And I'm really, uh, just to give you a, a, a short uh, history of what's going on, for those of you who don't know me, uh, I uh, built, ran, founded the whole bit, uh, Steamers Jazz Club for 22 years in Fullerton. And, and yeah, thank you. And, uh, and uh, Francisco Torres was the guy that brought the first Latin jazz band to Steamers in 96 or so, and then introduced me to the Bonda Brothers and, and Poncho Sanchez and Francisco Aguave, and the rest just continued, even Joey De Leon, you know? And uh, uh, it, it was just a wonderful thing. But anyway, after my father got very ill, and then uh, I sold the place about five years ago, and I did, you know, I wanted to stay with him the last couple of years of his life. And after that, I really was kind of done with jazz. Not done with it, but doing this kind of thing. But people had asked me if I'd want to be involved with another, you know, presenting jazz elsewhere. And I thought, oh, if the right person comes along. And these guys uh, 
and I want to thank Jack Jasper and Tim Ellis, the guys that are putting this on. Let's hear it for them. Not only are they great businessmen, they, they can spot talent, and they brought me right in. No, <laughs> no. They decided, now they, they understood what, what I had done at Steamers all those years, and it's been a wonderful marriage, and Tony Guerrero had been doing the, uh, j the only jazz here around for a long time with Campus Shacks before, so Tony Guerrero and I and Campus Shacks got together, and we're continuing Steamers Jazz at Campus Shacks. And uh, I'll tell you just a couple things that are coming up. Every Sunday, Tony and I do a, a live, not a live, well, it's live, but it's on, over the internet. We're doing interviews of different folks. We have our steamers variety hour from 6 to 7.30ish every Sunday. And you just go to facebook.com forward slash Campus Jacks or Jacks Hideaway. And then upcoming on next Wednesday, typically we do it on Thursday, but when, uh, Thursday is Thanksgiving, but the day before Thanksgiving, Wednesday, November 25th, it's always a big thing. And you remember the, the Bonda Brothers, we used to have the turkey bash the day before Thanksgiving uh, at Steamers Wednesday. It was always a sellout because all the mothers kick their family out of the, out of the kitchen, say, go out there and eat somewhere else come out we have the swing kitten that's a wonderful you know tom kubis group with his daughter and the other nicole and kaylee they do kind of an andrew sister type uh uh trio vocal thing it's, it's fantastic and then upcoming um on december 3rd the first thursday of the month tony guerrero will be here with his quintet featuring leah booth how many of you guys were uh, customers at Steamers in the old days? How many of you have heard of Barbara Morrison? Barbara Morrison's going to be here on December 10th, so make sure you check that one out, Barbara Morrison. And uh, I think that's it. You know, that's it for that. So I'm going to introduce the band. Uh, Mr. Jimmy Branley over there on drums. <laughs> Best looking drummer I ever met, man. Tom Lur on tenor sax. Yeah. Renee Camacho on the bass. Yeah. Sir Andrew Langham on the piano. Yeah. Who am I missing? Joey De Leon on the congas. What a man. I love Joey. And my old, old friend, and he's not that old, but he's, uh, since he was a young baby at Steamers, Francisco Torres. Let's hear it from Francisco Torres, Latin jazz band, folks. Enjoy.
very nice, very nice. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for taking uh, some time out of your busy Thursday and uh, come hanging out with us. So I want to acknowledge some people in the audience because they're going to be heckling me if I don't. We got Amy, Laura, and Karen in the house. Good, fantastic musicians. And uh, two trombone players and a French horn player. There you go. That's how you party. Uh, I got another fantastic friend over here, another great trombone player, Les Nunes in the house with his brother-in-law. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Eric, Eric Porta, also in the house. Yeah. I don't ever see him unless I'm doing something for him, so now he's hanging out. All right. And Mr. Tony Guerrero, where are you at, Tony? All right. Yeah. So uh, that, oh. Yeah. Bass solo. Bass solo. <laughs> first we have the blender, and now we have the plane. All right. Uh, so the first number we did is a my, my take on the beautiful standard by Mr. Henry Mancini entitled Days of Wine and Roses. And uh, we just, yeah, no, yeah, it's okay. Yeah, Henry's all right. You're right, that guy. Oh, my God. Security? All right, so uh, now we're going to go, since we uh, did a little Afro-Cuban 6-8 with a little jazz, now we're going to go to Brazil. Hey, Joey, give me a little, uh, sorry, I know this is tired already, but give me a little samba conga.
Yeah, give it up for Joey De Leon. Yeah. And Jimmy Brantley on the drums. Now, what I was going to say before the mic was turned off is uh, uh, Brazil, obviously, is also part of Latin America. So you say Latin jazz, you got to have a little samba, right? Right? Yeah, all right. Any Brazilians? Do you have any Brazilians? No? Okay. All right, all right. So you got to say the Portuguese, though. <laughs> all right, uh, so we've done a couple of standards. The last one uh, is entitled Soon by... Uh, the late George Gershwin, right? Right, yeah. So now we're gonna move into some of my music. And uh, this, uh, I wrote this tune and I don't even know where I was at, but it was just really calm. And it, as a traveling musician, a musician period, you get very small uh, spaces of time where everything just doesn't move. Oh, somebody answered that. Um, so we entitled this Sereno, but uh, as you can see, my, with my, uh, if you really know me, you understand that I'm a little hyper. I don't look at it like right now, but I, st I tend to stutter a lot. So, um, uh, uh, so I don't know why when I get a microphone in front of me, I just want to be a, a comedian, but I don't have any jokes today. So, we're good. All right, this is entitled, oh, thanks a lot, eh? This is entitled Sereno.
Yeah, give it up for Andy Langham on the piano there. Yeah, come on. All right, so that was like a, it was a cha-cha, kind of. Like a expensive cha-cha. <laughs> uh, all right, so um, a lot of people don't know that I'm from, uh, well, a lot of people know I'm Mexican. They just don't know where I'm from. <laughs> Joey's from Pacoima, so. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, uh, there's a beautiful beach that I grew up going to every, seemed like we, we went there once a month and it was called uh, Kino. Kino was a, uh, actually, uh, not a priest, what do you call it, a, a, a monk uh, that uh, s uh, made a settlement right by the beach. A monastery? Was it a monastery? Oh, thank you. Uh, so anyway, so... Uh, so Kino was his last name, and uh, I decided to, since I spent so much, so much time there and uh, so many uh, wonderful memories there, I just decided to write a song about it. So this is entitled Bahia Kino, and this is going to feature uh, Joey De Leon on the, you going to play the cajon on this? Okay. Yeah. You, you got to give it up to Latinos. They, they make music out of anything. I mean, he just, he grabbed the box. Is that, a, is that Amazon? Is that your Amazon box there? Etsy. Oh, Etsy, okay. All right, so this is entitled Bahia Aquino, and uh, this is uh, going to also feature the, my, my man on bass, my compadre, Mr. Rene Camacho. I'm gonna put him to work. All right.
That's a lot of bass playing right there. How about a hand for Joey DeLeon? Yeah. Uh oh. Security. No. <laughs> Uh, so one of the things that we, as musicians, had to deal with with the pandemic is we obviously have no live gigs, no in-studio gigs, no gigs. So, <laughs> so thankfully, I mean, uh, myself, uh, Tom, Joey, and uh, Andy, and I don't know if Renee, uh, you're not at a college. You're not teaching. I mean, you're not currently teaching. And he's the one with the degree. No, not just kidding. <laughs> Uh, so, um, you know, we, we've had to supplement doing other things and stuff like that. So, uh, thankfully, I had, I, I never graduated college. Uh, I'm a college dropout. Not proud of that, but, you know, circumstances as they were, I was asked to go on the road, and that's what I wanted to do at the time, and I just forgot about school. I regret it. But thankfully, you know, um, being a, getting to teach a little bit, uh, just kind of put our, our, our uh, our, uh, we, we, were able, we were able to expand, have different things going on at once, and, and once we were not able to perform live, then all of a sudden uh, we uh, just went to teaching or maybe online private lessons, et cetera, just to, just to keep the ball rolling. So what ended up happening is, happening is we have what's called uh, home chops. And I'm a chops, you know. So um, we basically, like, didn't play for a long time. Uh, and would you know why would why would we practice if there was no gigs? So, <laughs> so you know, I I would walk by my office, you know, every other day and see my trombone and just I just kind of laugh, like, well, okay, well it's it's a trombone. And my wife said, well, why don't you sell it? I'm like, sell it? <laughs> Relax, we're coming back, we're coming back. So uh, so anyway, so. Uh, be, my my story is that because of that, sometimes right now, I mean, we're playing all this music, but we don't have our usual chops going on. As as far as I'm, I mean, these guys are killing it, but me, I'm like, my teeth are already playing with my teeth, like, you know. Not to mention that I, I fell in my yard Sunday on my wrist. You can still see the cuts. So you know, so I I, I am a trombone player, so all I really need is a stump. So I'm good. So we're good. So anyway, so uh, but anyways, thank you for coming out. And uh, that's a little story. That's a little musician story that goes on uh, through our through this whole pandemic. And I hope that uh, mu uh, music comes back in in strong in a stronger way. And thank you, Campus Jacks, for having a, a place to play this evening. And uh, thank you, Terrence. Thank you, Tony, Tim, everybody for uh, putting this together. And uh, you for coming out. So, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna play uh, one of my favorite composers is a gentleman named Sam Rivers, and uh, he wrote this uh, beautiful song entitled Beatrice, and uh, we're gonna do it as a danzón. Danzón is a uh, dance that came out of Cuba, right? That's a that's the. You talking to me? No, I'm talking to I'm talking to the Cu the, the white Cuban guy. I'm serious. Jimmy's Cuban. Yeah, Jimmy. And so Danson, what is Danson? No, I'm saying Danson was a, I know, but what, what did, who danced to the Danson? That's what I want to know. Would you give me a history lesson? It's a really old style, like, that, but like people with money used to dance it, right? Yeah. Yes. We don't. <laughs> All right, this is, I'll shut up, and this is Beatrice.
We're live. Hey, Tony. Gore. We're interrupting Francisco's show. Oh, oh that's all right, man. It's a trumpet okay, or a trombone the... solo, bass solo, whatever. Now we're happy to be here, folks. Terrence Love and my partner, Tony Guerrero. Tony Guerrero, and uh, this is our first night having Latin jazz at, at Campus Jack, Steamers Jazz at Jacks. You gotta uh, check it out on our stream. Want to let you know a little bit about what we got coming up. Wednesday, the twenty fifth. The day before Thanksgiving, next Wednesday, everybody gets kicked out of the house anyway because mom wants to do the, the turkey dinner. Come to Campus Jacks. We have the the uh, swing kittens, right? Swing kittens. Tell me a little and, bit about them. Well, it's uh, it's three girls that sing kind of a, that Andrews sisters kind of vibe. And Tom Kubis is normally with them. I don't know yet if he's going to be on the book then, but I, I'm going to I'm yeah. I'm going to assume he is. Yeah. And um, it's a really swing. It's a great little yeah. Great tickets band. are available for that. And it, you know, for those of you who don't know, we have a very wonderful space here, socially distant standards uh, we're keeping all that up cleanliness and all that it's a wonderful tent that keeps we've got heaters out there the lights on everything come check it out campuschecks.com also coming up on december 3rd this guy tony guerrero with his quintet featuring leah booth on vocals doing a christmas show all the christmas music coming out and then a great christmas present for me and everyone here at campus jacks the return of barbara morris and barbara morris she played at Steamers for like 18 years, and she's just the consummate performer, fantastic blues and jazz vocalist. If you've not seen her, tickets were, are available now, I believe. They will sell out. CampusJazz.com. They, yeah. they are available good. Yes. And uh, also, upcoming this Sunday, Tony and I will be here with our very own uh, Steamers variety show featuring uh, little interviews and uh, behind the scenes of these musicians and other things going on. This week we have Aubrey Logan coming back and... Uh, Aubrey, yeah, Aubrey Logan will be joining us from Texas and uh, we're going to premiere a new video of uh, some music of mine that features a lovely young dancer named Hannah Pink and we're going to bring her on for a minute to say hi and we think... Possibly, not twist, locked in yet. Twist the arm of Andy Langham, the wonderful uh, pianist out there right now. Andy Langham, hopefully we can get him in on this sat, uh, Sunday night. So check it out. Go to campusjacks.com. Wherever you're watching this, pretty much you'll be able to see it, right? Yes. That's, that makes sense, doesn't if it? If you have a computer and internet, you're part of the crowd. I believe so. I believe so. Anyway, well, we've interrupted them enough. If you want to help us out with these shows here, these live streaming, every show we do, every Steamers Jazz at Jack show, we stream live, whether it be on the stage or not. And we hope that you can help us out by going to steamersjacks.com, throw a buck or two in the tip jar, and uh, maybe uh, keep watching this, okay? Tell your friends about it. Terrence Love and... I like hear you say it. Go ahead. Tony Guerrero. Okay. All right. Back to Francisco. Thank you.
Jimmy Brantley. Andy Langham. All right, let's see how much time we have to keep having fun. All right, okay, we got, we got time for a couple more. Yeah, is that cool? All right. <clears throat> All right, so this uh, next tune is uh, another original of mine. Uh, one of the things we were going to do is, uh, unbeknownst to the guys, I wanted to go in the studio and start putting some of the stuff down uh, for my second record. And then uh, the pandemic happened. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, hey, I can do that one. I will always have a job at the circus, yes. Uh, so uh, anyway, so this uh, tune is entitled, at the time I, I entitled it Motion, but they're not coming for me, I hope. Uh, but it just keeps, uh, you know, this tune just keeps evolving into something else, uh, taking the, the theme from the, the beginning of the tune, and then it just evolves into another groove, and then another groove, and, and then another groove. And it just kind of feels almost like what we're living now. It just keeps changing. Everything just keeps changing, no matter a few months at a time. So this is entitled Motion, and I hope you enjoy this.
All right. Yeah, that was a tricky one. That's a tricky one right there. Yeah. Hey, you guys are all right. All right, we come to that uh, time. Terrence told me to tell him we are, this is going to be our last song. Security. That joke just never gets old. Anyways, uh, one more time, give it up for Mr. Tom Luer. The fantastic Jimmy Brandley on the drums. The other fantastic Joey De Leon on the congas. My compadre Rene Camacho on the bass. And of course, Sir Andrew Langham. Yeah. Thank you everybody for having us. Terrence, you want to say something? Because we're gonna have one more song. We're good? I ignore exactly who said that, so that's good. Cool. <laughs> I love you too. All right, this last tune is uh, entitled Madness in Times Square because the first time I ever went to uh, New York and I sat in Times Square, it seemed like everything was going on at once, even the naked cowboy. So. Hey, take it easy. Joey is from New York. Yes. Hey. All right, my other best friend. Chewy. Not like Chewbacca. Haven't you guys ever seen that movie? What's that movie where it says, oh, this is my cousin Chewy. And somebody says, oh, how's Luke Skywalker doing? I was like, no, his name is Chewy. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sorry. That was a bad joke. I told you. I'm a, com I'm a, bad, I'm a bad comedian. And uh, thank you, everybody, for coming. <laughs> it's cool because, I, you know, I have a lot of friends and family here. So, well, you know, I can forget it. Let's go. Let's play. This is entitled Madness in Times Square. Thank you for coming. Thank you for supporting Live Jazz. Please keep this up. Go to campusjacks.com and check out uh, any of the other shows Mr. Tony Guerrero and Mr. Terrence Love are putting together. And uh, let's keep supporting this so we can have this every single week and we can uh, uh, enjoy live music. Thank you.
Thank you. Good night. Francisco Torres. Francisco Torres. Tom Lure. Jimmy Bradley. Joey De Leon. Renee Camacho. Sir Andrew Langham on the piano. The Francisco Torres Latin Jazz Band, folks. What do you think? Um, Thank you all for coming out. Remember, I told you, I know you all want to rush Francisco, but uh, single file, six feet apart, wearing your mask, please. Uh, I want to thank you all for coming out. Upcoming next Wednesday night, we have the Swing Kittens will be here. And with Tom Kubis and all that, it's going to be a great show. Coming up on November 10th, I mean December 10th, Barbara Morrison. December 3rd, Tony Guerrero will be here this Sunday night. We have uh, Aubrey Logan on our interview show, and we're hoping to get Sir Andrew Langham to join us. Would you like to do an interview this Sunday? Andrew Langham will be on our show. That's 6 o'clock Pacific time for about 20 minutes or half hour, whatever we'll be talking to him. And... Uh, Thank you all for coming out. Go to steamersjacks.com if you want to donate a little something for the streaming. Go to campusjacks.com for all the tickets. Drive safe. Let's hear a nice round of applause for our servers who had to walk about a mile back and forth. I want to thank John Wynn over there for doing our video. Golden behind the curtain doing our sound. Jack Jasper, the owner of Campus Jacks. Tim Ellis, who's in the back with the production of everything else. Did I forget anyone? Francisco Torres. Thank you very much for coming out, folks. Yeah.